guys, uh, welcome to another 3WK video. My name is Ian Donald and uh, today I will be reviewing the Beauchat Marlin Carbone uh, Revo concept. Uh, it kind of sits at the top of the Beauchat range. This certainly sits kind of at the top of the pedestal as far as their guns go. The Revo concept really is this kind of section at the end. Okay, so uh, you may have seen this uh, online and kind of not understood kind of what it's all about. Now, one of the problems with spear guns generally is that they can only uh, propel the spear as f uh, up to the point where the, the, the rubbers end. The difference with this is what it does is through this fairly complicated system. Just show you. So you've got these two uh, in joined rubbers which run through a pulley at the top. Okay, and then we now have this kind of weird looking thing going on. But what happens is, all right, this part here, okay, you'll pull all the way back and it will load into the, uh, the shark fin at the back here. And then this section here loads into this uh, little loading notch here or here, all right. Now, what then happens is as you fire the gun, okay, and I'll kind of replicate to some extent, okay, if you see here, what happens when you fire the gun. Okay, the spear goes and starts to travel, and the rubbers pull through. You see that? Pulling through the pulleys. Okay, so what you get is the rubber pulling the spear from right at the back all the way through the entire length of the gun, right up until practically the tip of the gun. So the power that you can get from this is astronomical. This is a, a Beauchat specific thing, I believe. It's kind of like a little... Uh, a little holder for the spear okay so this is an open muzzle design um, and so rather than relying on a piece of line to wrap over it in order to keep the spear in place they have this little pinchy thing it's got a little pincher all right and then that just holds the spear in place i know it's got a, it's got a name a technical name but it's something they've made up so it doesn't matter anyway um and that just holds the spear in place, which is really good, okay? Um, then you have, you see the pulley running through here. Obviously a really nice carbon weave all the way down to the, to the, to the butt of the gun. Um, it then goes into plastic. Uh, and then this is pretty much one of the standard kind of pistol mechanisms, uh, I believe, for a lot of bow shot guns. It looks like a lot of the ones that they put through. You've got a safety mechanism, which is a uh, really good safety, actually. It's nice and simple, clicks on and off. Um, this one, uh, this this gun comes with a, a seven mil spear as well. And then on the side here, you have uh, the line release, and at the bottom, uh, an area to hold um, a reel. So good things, good things for the gun. This gun uh, is light, it's carbon. Okay, so it's a light gun. You know, it's a 95 centimeter gun. It looks pretty chunky. It's tough. Um, you know, but given the size of it, it's really, really light, and that's the kind of that's what you pay for basically with a carbon gun. That's what you would expect. So that's really good. Um, it comes as standard with a really heavy duty spear, which is nice. Okay, um, the uh, the rubbers that come with it are really good quality. Uh, you've got plenty of line. You've got like a triple, I think. Is it double? Yeah, you're double a double length shooting line on this, so you've got a load of range as well. Um, it comes with this really good. Uh, this is a, a silicon uh, bungee here, okay, with a with a with a nice swivel in there as well. So the idea of it being silicon is it doesn't degrade as easily as a rubber bungee will. So a lot of you will have had rubber bungees and they degrade pretty quickly and have to replace them all the time. So the idea is that perhaps this doesn't have to be replaced as much. As far as the shooting goes, it's incredibly accurate, okay really accurate um the times i've taken out this out in the water uh and i've had bass with it it's literally in fact i think i really have missed one shot with this gun okay so in the times that i've used it i've probably used it like three or four separate occasions um and every shot that i've taken has has found the target okay because so that's something to do with the power of the gun really but it obviously it does just track really well in the water cons all right so bad things about the gun it's kind of top heavy it's nose heavy which kind of makes a lot of sense really i mean if you look at this uh you've got this pretty chunky mechanism uh, there's a lot of stuff at the top here and for some reason they've tapered it towards the end okay so the volume of the actual uh, gun itself is held more through the middle and the back of the gun so when it comes to actually the front of the gun there isn't much volume there so there isn't much buoyancy in the wall i was finding i'm having to rest it on kelp or rest it on a bit of rock or something just to sort of stop minimizing my dive time because you actually feel like the, the weight is potentially you know minimizing time now uh, my biggest con of this gun the biggest negative i found with this gun um 
is really due to uh, the finish of uh, some of the shooting elements. All right, so this is something they could easily change. So if you're listening out there, Bowshed, change it because you need to, all right? Because it's an expensive gun and it's got to be worth the money, all right? Um, you have this slider, okay? So it goes. Some of the some of the cheaper guns you might find have sliders running down the spears. A lot of spears spear guns you'll find that the uh, shooting line fixes right to the very back, okay? It normally comes right in the back. They've incorporated the slider mechanism, which is great. I've got no problem with sliders, okay? They work pretty well. There's not a problem with it. Um, but what they've done is it. it seems like they've incorporated like a galvanized metal slider which after a very little time has uh, because of the rubbing and chafing against the spear um, and the gun itself has started to corrode already and there's quite bad corrosion on this um, after a short period of time in the water what makes this particularly hard to swallow is that online you can get they sell Boshat sells stainless steel versions of these sliders so why the hell they haven't put a stainless steel slider on one of their most expensive guns, it's just like, I don't get it. It makes no sense to me whatsoever. Now, the other problem that's related to this comes when the gun's been shot. So the slider now then retreats its way up the sphere once it's been shot. Oh, just hit the light above me. Um, and what it does, it then obviously butts up against the, the loading notch, the shark fin at the back. Now, uh, the problem with this is that out of the box, uh, and I only realised this after the first time I was in the water, which was super annoying. Uh, when it shoots, it slides up the back, and uh, I've had to file down this section. All right, So I had to actually get a file, and I had to square off this corner. So what they hadn't done, they just welded this on. Okay, it looked pretty square, it's fine, but what you had was a little curve. Okay, a little curve joining the sections. So as this slider went down, and obviously the force of this gun being so powerful, it hit against that and wedged in so tight, it was impossible to move it. In order to be able to undo it, I'd have to get back on the boat that we were on, um, get my uh, weight belt off and uh, knock the lead against it in order to pull it away. It was wedged on that tight. Conclusion. No, it's a really good gun. Definitely is a good gun. Um, it's a technical gun. There's a lot of stuff going on with it. It looks kind of funky. If you want the most different gun out in, in the water, no one else has got one, probably because of the price more than anything, but you know, there's not going to be many out there. Then this, this is the one for you. This is the gun. Um, it can certainly deal with a lot of different situations. Uh, if you want one gun that's going to be able to take you blue water hunting, if you want a gun that's going to allow you to dive in the UK, there are some quality issues that I've already gone over, so I'm not going to sort of hammer home those too many times. Uh, there's some weighting issues as far as the trim that are the problem. Um, but overall, you know, it's a good gun. If Boshat can sit down and fix some of those problems, then it's going to be, you know, it's, it's going to be one of the better guns out there. Cool. Well, thanks for uh, watching another Freedive UK review video. Uh, remember to subscribe, okay, and uh, follow the rest of the videos. Uh, we're going to be coming out with some more uh, kind of technique orientated videos, uh, so and uh, some DIY videos as well. Uh, remember to subscribe to us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and check out freediveuk.com for more information about courses and everything else. All right, thanks very much for watching, guys. See you later. Bye. Oh, <laughs>